Hi everyone and welcome to another day, another unboxing. Today we're looking at the Xiaomi Mi 9T. Yes, this is kind of uh, part of the Mi 9 series, but unlike the Mi 9 which has a notch, this has a pop-up camera and a full screen display, very small bezel. So it's kind of like a lot like the Mi Mix. More importantly, this phone is $350 for an aluminum and glass phone with a pop-up camera and a Snapdragon 730. This is one of the first, if not the first phone on the market with a Snapdragon 730, which is derived from the Snapdragon 855 and slots obviously above the 600 series. Um, so it's, you know, an upper mid-range chipset, uh, pretty close to flagship spec in terms of uh, everything on this phone. So that's what's really exciting and that's why I'm glad I have one. Now there is a twin phone from Xiaomi called the Redmi K20 Pro that's pretty much identical except it has a Snapdragon 855. Unfortunately, that one's not available yet, at least not as readily. So one point in time, I'll get my hands on the Redmi K20 Pro, but right now we have the Xiaomi Mi 9T, which are again, both very similar, very similar specs, triple camera, etc. So let's have a look at this box. Mi 9T, not much on this side. Uh, down here, you've got all the IMAs and labels and stuff. And as you can see, this is a six gigabytes, 64 gig version. There's also a six gigabyte, 128 gig version. Here's the bottom. And so let's open it up, shall we? Ta-da, boom, nothing inside. So first thing you notice is <laughs> some dust. There's a divider here. And inside of this has got to be some documentation. So I'll look at that in a second. So I'm just going to do this. And here we are. There is the phone. And I think there's an IMA in the back. So I'm going to surprise you in a minute because it's super shiny and blue. So there's a little divider again here. And as you can see, this has a European charger. This is very similar to the charger for the Mi Mix 3. As you can see, of course, this European prong. Um, I think it's an 18 watt charger if I remember properly and then you've got a charging cord of course USB type C this is a type A as you see on one end here type C on the other end no surprises here all right so I don't think there's anything else left in here no headphones or anything like that so let's find out um, what's in that little box here before we continue with the phone itself so here we've got a flap and of course a SIM removal tool. And aha, like a lot of Xiaomi phones, it comes with a little TPU, or it might not be TPU, some sort of protective case. Um, it's um, kind of a bendable soft plastic, but it's not TPU rubberized like those translucent cases. I still call these TPU, but I don't think they really are. Uh, very similar to the case that came with the Mi Mix 3. Uh, check out my unboxing on the channel that happened a couple of weeks ago. And so then we've got a couple manuals here, Xiaomi Mi 9T user guide and warranty card. And you know, the user guide is pretty much what you'd expect. Some images that show you all the different things and really nothing too important here. The little bag for the case and that's it for this. So let's have a look at this phone. But before we do, I'm going to unpeel the IMA sticker in the back here. There we are, and ta-da! Here's the back of the phone. It is gorgeous bluish glory. Check out this finish. Yes, those Chinese phones are really cool in terms of finish. Let me peel off this label. Here we are. And, oh, look at that. Triple camera, flash, Xiaomi. That is quite the finish. I mean, comparatively, the Mi Mix 3 looks really boring. Wow, very nice. So in the front here, it tells you a little bit about 48 megapixel uh, AI rear triple camera. It's a Sony IMX582, which I've never heard of, but I guess is a 586 derivative because uh, there's a Sony IMX586. I'm not sure if this has OIS on the main camera, but obviously that's that 48 megapixel. 
uh, 6.4 inch full HD plus display, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and that Snapdragon 730 I mentioned. So let's peel that off, shall we? Here we are. Nice. So that, folks, is the phone in all its beautiful glory. God, this finish is incredible. I, I don't know if the video does it justice. It just shimmers and it's kind of darker in the middle. Wow, amazing. So let's do a quick tour of the controls before I fire up the screen. So we got the power lock key, which is coated in red, really nice. Volume rocker, this is the left side of the phone. And here we've got at the bottom a USB type C port, mono speaker, primary microphone, slim slot right here. I'm not sure whether it has SD. And then you've got, aha, a headphone jack on top with a secondary mic. That's super awesome news. Here's that pop-up camera for the selfies. And then on the right hand side, you've got absolutely nothing on this phone. Man, this phone is gorgeous. And by the way, this display is AMOLED. Gorgeous, gorgeous display. So here it is starting up, Android, and again, Snapdragon 730, nothing to steer at. So, but this exact phone is available from Xiaomi as the Redmi K20 Pro with a Snapdragon 855 for about the same price. Now, I'm not sure what they sacrificed on the K20 Pro to get it to that price, but I know the cameras, batteries are the same. Everything is the same except it has the Snapdragon 855 instead of a 730. But I think it might have a plastic back instead of a glass back. So they did a bit of tweaking, but I, I want to get my hands on that one as well. So here we go. Here's the display. You can see it's beautiful AMOLED, very little bezel. It's a little more of a chin at the bottom than the top here. You can see the earpiece is kind of embedded in there. And then that's it. Um, yeah, not much going on here. So obviously, you know, you can set that up. I'm not going to do it. So let's talk about these cameras on the back. I mentioned there's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in here, right? So that's kind of par for the course on these semi flagship or flagship devices. Even low end devices like the Moto G7 Power have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So this is getting pretty common now and pretty exciting if you ask me. So three cameras, right? You got a 48 megapixel main sensor here. Now, it says it's a Sony IMX582. I've never heard of that sensor, but so far all 48 megapixel Sony sensors have been Sony IMX586 sensors. F over 1.7, 48 megapixel, the output is 12 megapixel. It bins the pixel four into one. Nothing new here. We have two lenses here. I'm not sure which is which. One is an ultra wide angle, 13 megapixel F over 2.4. The other one's an eight megapixel telephoto two times optical zoom f over 2.4 and then that's the dual led flash and then the xiaomi logo and regulatory stuff so in front i can't show it to you unfortunately there's no way for me to pop this camera open but there is uh because well there's no way to do that from the setup screen at least i don't think so it'd be cool if you could just to show it off but this camera pops out and has a 20 megapixel f over 2.2 sensor and that 20 megapixel is the same kind of deal it's a four in one binned quad buyer filter so it's basically outputs five megapixel instead of 20 by combining four pixels into one so that's pretty cool so headphone jack i mean really this this seems like kind of like the perfect phone in many ways in terms of like uh, full screen display triple camera headphone jack uh, big battery decent processor and specs at $350, pretty amazing. That's roughly the average. It, it costs anywhere between $325 and $385 online from what I see. So I think the list must be around $350. Um, you'll have to import this gray market at this point, but same with the uh, K20 Pro from Redmi. Redmi is a sub-brand of Xiaomi, so very much similar phones. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the K20 Pro for you as well. But in the meantime, Tune into the podcast for me to let you know what I think of this phone. I'm much more excited about this, honestly, than the Mi Mix 3. Uh, because for the money, I mean, the Mi Mix 3 is in the $500 range and only has dual rear cameras and a Snapdragon 845. In terms of performance, I'm pretty sure that Snapdragon 730 is going to be very close to the 845. So not bad at all. Anyway, that's it, folks. This is the Xiaomi Mi 9T. Um, stay tuned for more unboxing videos and reviews and hands-ons. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, all this down there. And also remember that this is really all for the podcast. I have a podcast. It's quite popular. MobileTechPodcast.com. It's on all the major platforms. 
And uh, so you should subscribe. It's on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Overcast, TuneIn Radio, and even Spotify. So subscribe as well. And then finally, I want to thank our sponsor, ProXPN. ProXPN is a VPN for professionals. So if you need a VPN, you're looking for protection for your privacy and security when you travel, they're the folks you should check out. Below in the description of the video is a 50% off deal for ProXPN. So if you're looking for a VPN that will keep you safe when you travel, keep you private, and let you access video sites abroad when you're in another country, that sort of thing. Everything a standard VPN provides, they are your go-to. Pro XPN, I want to thank them for being a longtime sponsor of this channel. And so that's it, folks. Stay tuned for more shows very soon. And until then, cheers, everybody.